when you have an art piece on the wall, it's not just a matter of putting the art on the wall, it's how do you make that connection happen between, you know, the artist, the art piece, and the viewer, the audience, you know? Because when that connection happens, it's when it's meaningful. It's when my job as a curator is meaningful and I've, when I've achieved something. Bonjour, je m'appelle Coralie Clesen Glaison et je suis française. My sister and I would sometimes escape, you know, and go try African foods, but really at home it was the French family. In England, that became a challenge, finding the right ingredients, the right food, especially bread. If there's no bread on the table for any meal, it's a disaster. Fresh, crusty, I mean, it's a whole, <laughs> it's a whole ritual. I feel that every country I've lived in, I've learned a new thing. And so when it was time to move, every time I felt I left a piece of my heart behind. Going back to those experiences, they shape you, you learn so much from them. And I think it would be wasted if you're not sharing them somehow, but they inform your practice as well. And they've definitely informed my practice. I always remember flying from the Middle East into Orlando and I was mesmerized by the lakes because when you arrive here at around midday, they look like beautiful mirrors. And I had no idea Orlando had all these lakes. So I was like thinking we made the right choice. Although we've lived around the globe, it's been really challenging to keep a French identity, especially with language. My kids, when we moved to Orlando, were one and three. So it's ages that are very malleable. And my son, he was only one, I mean, so it was preschool, but they recommended to speak to him in English. And that was a mistake because then my son ended up speaking English much better than French. But you know, that's a huge, part of the identity. And I also want them to see it as an open door. When I first arrived in Orlando, I was excited with the idea that the, the city is international. But then I realized that it's still very young. It's still being shaped. I like thinking of memory as a fabric. You know, but I also love thinking of the community, you know, and culture as a fabric, you know, the, the fabric of community and kind of weaving that fabric of community, trying to kind of tell those stories, the story of one and from the story of the other and how together they bring a new story. When I wear those items, they're more, they're empowering. I've always felt empowered, and I, I wish everyone could tap into that, you know, and, I f and maybe sometimes I'm too much in tune with that, you know, that I'm gonna wear something and think, oh, today I'm channeling, you know, uh, my grandmother, or I'm channeling my mom, or I'm channeling the 70s, <laughs> you know, whichever. Traveling around the globe and seeing those cultures has taught me to learn to see things from a different perspective, try and put yourself in other people's shoes and create empathy. And I think the art world has that. When you're looking at a painting, a photograph, a video work, an installation, and you're immersed in an environment, that feeling doesn't only need to be just emotion, it can also be life-changing. It can be revolutionary. And I really want people to value the way the arts can have an impact in people's lives. I know, because I've experienced it, I know it's possible. I know it's true and attainable. So that's what I'd want to leave in Orlando, you know, do more projects that allow that to happen.